The European migrant crisis took a violent turn on Friday when a Macedonian uh, riot police clashed with an angry crowd of migrants using tear gas, stun grenades and barriers of barbed wire to hold the crowds at bay. The migrants are among the thousands of refugees from the Middle East, Africa and Asia who have been crossing from Greece into Macedonia and now the Balkan country is cracking down. Macedonia has declared a state of emergency and is deploying army troops to border regions. Authorities say that while official border crossings will remain open, they are going to reduce illegal border entry to a minimum. Petros Mastakos with the UNHCR is calling for more humanitarian assistance for migrants in limbo on the Greek side of the border. There are hundreds of vulnerable persons, children, babies, other persons with, with, with extreme vulnerabilities, including medical needs. Most of them, if not all of them, stay rough in the open air. We do appeal to the Greek authorities to take all necessary measures to address the humanitarian needs of the persons gathered on the borderline. In July, some 50,000 migrants arrived in Greece and many tried to press north through Macedonia to reach Serbia and then enter the EU in Hungary. If any of these migrants make it to Germany, the experience might be totally different. Residents of the Berlin House Project invite migrants to leave, cook and eat with them. This is the integration that Berlin's pilot plan, Sharehouse Refugio, intends to create. Organizers hope that this gives the foreign residents enough time to get acquainted with Germany by creating their own network of friends and colleagues and pass on their place in the house to other interested parties. Iyad Ibrahim Aga was born in the Syrian city of Homs. He escaped with 200 other men, women and children from Egypt via boat to Greece. About a year ago, he arrived in Germany and lived in a hostel before moving into the house in Noa Köln. I have here a big chance to interact with people and get to know more about the German society and have more friends and maybe I can have a chance to find a good job. If I, if I have my own flat, maybe I will never have this much of connections, like now. So I think yeah, all, all the refugees like me needs this opportunity. Ayad is now busy learning German as he wants to integrate quickly. Faduma Musa Afra, a native of Somalia, considers a new lodging as a gift. Everybody wants somebody back home. Here you come, you're nothing. So who do you want to be? This is an individual sacrifice. It's from within the individual, yes. But there's also that sacrifice, the motivation from the community. And this is the, 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 the reward, the present they gave us to live with the rest in peace, in harmony and everything. And it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, I don't know what to talk about it. Migrants in Germany are also getting help from Welcome in Mulheim. A free shop founded in July 2014 that collects and distributes donations in order to provide migrants with the necessary supplies for starting their life in Germany anew.